So we finally arrived at our destination after many many hours of traveling. We out here in the mountain range. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Uh, what we're going to do now basically is just to unpack the van, get our stuff inside the house and then obviously get the guns out and let's start zeroing those guns to get things started. The guns that I'll be using for this hunting adventure will be my trusty FX impact range and my Hawa chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. I'll be using the air guns mostly for those short range shots and the 6.5 for those long bombs. With the formalities done and dusted, it was time to give the old Mark II a bit of a warm up with some house sparrows on the farmyard. Now don't get me wrong, shooting sparrows is fun, but this is not the main pest that we are after. This farm has a huge problem with vivid monkeys, or like we like to call them, the grey menace. So without wasting any time, we hit the road and it did not take us a long time to see our first grey faces. Perfect shot. <laughs> Down. After smashing a few monkeys with the air guns, the wind started to pick up in the valley. Now, I'm not a big fan of wounding any animal, so I decided to go the safe route and get out my boomstick. Stop, 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 so, 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 trek after I can Damn, I was hoping to get the other ones too. After smashing a few monkeys at long range, I decided to glass the valley for some more grey faces. I spotted some not far away and we decided to take a drive. But we did not get far when suddenly we came across a troop of monkeys next to the farm road. At this point, it was all systems go.
these monkeys stood no chance against my 6-5 slayer and they were absolutely destroyed. The big secret to a successful vervet monkey hunt is that you need to be prepared and have the right equipment for this kind of job. Joining me on this hunt, I have another two very experienced shooters with me, namely Kevin De Toy and Gerd Slabber, aka My Old Man. With these two guys on the glass, no monkey goes unseen. Monkey down. That was just over 350. Number two down, too easy. That's number three down, over three hundred and twenty two yards. Alright, so let's speak about my gun setup here quickly. I am running a 1500 Hawan at the moment. It's chambered in 6.5 Creed ball. Um, I'm shooting a 143 grain Hornady ELDX round. I'm running them close to 2,685 feet per second. One of the reasons why I'm shooting the 6.5 is it's a nice all-rounder gun which you can use for varmint shooting, competition shooting and for, for high-end hunting as well. This is the Carbon X stock from APW. This is pretty much the rig that I run for my PRS shooting competitions as well. In the front I'm running a APW Warbird silencer with a muzzle brake as well. Keeps the recoil really really nicely back. Um, this is one of the best silencers I've used so far on any center fire rifle so I must give some kudos to APW for that silencer as well. Um, underneath I'm running an Acutec bipod to keep the gun steady. On top I'm running one of my favorite scopes is the Element Nexus. This is a 5 to 20 by 50 first focal plane. The whole gun as it sits at the moment is sitting on a Leo Photo tripod. I've been using these tripods now for many years. It's got an awesome ball head here which you can just loosen and you can just swivel it around and move your gun to the position that you want it into and just lock it down. So yeah, that's pretty much the nut cell. This is what I call a mean machine. After a quick coffee and a late brunch, we had one more task to complete before the day was over. We quickly loaded up and headed out. Well, it's late afternoon and uh, the farmer just stopped here next to us and asked me to shoot some of the, the dusties he's got here. He's got a plantation close to the cliffs here and the dusties come down and they eat it. The wind is howling and it's pretty much impossible to shoot with the air guns in this wind here. So. I've got my uh, 6.5 here and it will be easy picking since just to shoot them out. We're not going to use the meat, uh, we just want to actually get rid of them because they're making a lot of damage here, so yeah.
Yes. Number two. Number three. Perfect. So we just got back here at the farmhouse now. It's late afternoon. Um, it's getting very cold, very fast now. It's an like ice cold wind blowing here in the valley. Um, we had a very successful day out there today. We've got a lot of monkeys down. Um, so what we're going to do for the rest of the evening, we're going to take it easy, light the fire, get some meat out and just have a nice evening and uh, enjoy a nice dry. So yeah, we'll see what tomorrow is going to bring us. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please stay tuned for episode number two, which we're coming your way very, very soon. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you guys next time.